Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back for the final time this weekend to the Lemon Tree here in Aberdeen. And the climax to what's been a terrific season of town shootout pool and an even better grand final here in Aberdeen. We come down from 20 players to two and only one can lift the Gary Forbes trophy in the great man's name. We have two finalists who've showed an unbelievable amount of bottle to reach it to this showpiece event. So let's bring on the players. Introducing first of all, a man who has owned this event over 2019. He is a five times town shootout champion. He is the top seed. He is the Welsh wizard. Welcome back, Jordan Shepherd. For everyone, I think. <laughs> so Jordan Shepherd bidding to lift this and win a six town shootout final. His opponent, this is his third town shootout final. Both times he's lost to this man. Will it be third time lucky for the bouncer, Simon? stage both men tasted defeat in the group stages and came through as runners up in their groups and once we got to the knockout stages they kicked on another gear Jordan Shepard beat Martin McIntosh in a Blackpool shootout in an absolutely incredible match Martin looked like he had it wrapped up Jordan Shepard bound away and then beat Callum Singleton five frames to three three he was behind in that match as well before finding a couple of finishes to get over the line. Simon had to fight very hard in his side of the draw as well. Played the, the form player of the weekend in Chris Melling and had to come from behind to win that match. Five frames to three. And then we've just seen him beat David McNamara in an epic match. Five frames to four. Three nil ahead. Four three down. And he found two finishes. Huge bottle from the bouncer. So one last match in this town shootout grand final. 30 minutes back on the match clock and it's Simon Fitzsimmons to get us underway. In that semi-final and the end of his quarter-final he was breaking absolutely huge leaving very simple finishes whether he made a ball or not. This time he's made a ball and it's another very, very big break.
Reds are his choice. And every Red has a pocket. I feel like that's been the way off every break that Simon's had in recent memory. Just has to work his way down the table. He comes down the right-hand side of the table. The two reds do go to the bottom left. Also gives them the option of landing on the red to the left centre. So he had a choice of all three reds. Perhaps a touch short of perfect position this time. I think he's just about straight enough to drift through. Oh, he is straight enough. Deceptive from that main camera angle. Doesn't want to be straight this time. Straight would stop him from getting perfect position onto the black. Just enough angle to punch across the table. And this black to get the first frame of this final on the board. And in it goes. What a start for the bouncer. A break and clear. Gets him underway, 1-0 ahead of Jordan Shepard. Yeah, two, two players who've shown real bottle to go the distance. Have a quick look at the draw, how it's uh, panned out from the quarterfinals onwards. Already talked through the score lines of the uh, Two guys that have made it through to the final. I've seen some, well, I think every one of those matches from the quarterfinals onwards have been absolutely brilliant, full of drama, full of quality. We've got two brilliant finalists. Of course, we had 40 matches before that in the group stages. One of the guys had to really work hard just to make it into the quarterfinals. You look like you had some fun in the uh, arena <laughs> for, the, for the announcements, George. <laughs> Well, as I said, it's been a long day for everyone. Don't think there's any malice there from any of the spectators. Just the odd bit of booze. Yeah, it looked like he'd certainly enjoyed himself throughout the day. <laughs> Jordan Shepard said to me, who was he? Said, How should I know? <laughs> <laughs> but it's the fans, let's, uh, let's not criticise them. It was all in, well, relatively good spirits, albeit drunken. It's, it's the fans who create the atmosphere that makes this event. Let's not forget that. Yeah, it certainly is. It's the atmosphere really does, as you say, make the event. It's what makes this event so special. And the fans have been brilliant all weekend, created a brilliant atmosphere for these players to play in and for us to enjoy. Oh, it's a, a wide from Jordan Shepard. Got fortunate with his first shot. He thought once it had dropped in, he was going to take those out. But a bad mistake. Yeah, on my way into the arena, Jordan Shepard was just popping out himself for a comfort break prior to the walk-ons. And he said to me, blimey, that was good, wasn't it, from, from Simon? He was really impressed with the Fitzsimmons finish to reach the final. Sam was really impressive all the way through the match. Just the one mistake at 3 0 ahead. But the bottle he showed at the end was so impressive. It's so much harder when you get off to a flyer, you get yourself ahead, and your opponent comes back. So much harder to hold it together when you get another opportunity. That's what Simon did so well. It wasn't just the finish in the deciding frame. The clearance he took out in the frame before to take us to a decider was brilliant. As long as he has a little angle on this yellow, he can punch across. Just enough angle. It looks like it's going to be a, a very quick 2 0 start for Simon Fitzsimmons, similar to the semi final. 
And after that experience, he will not be counting his chickens. But he'll take it as a start. Very fluent. Often easier, isn't it, not to have a break. Go back to back. And he's picked up where he left off. 2-0 Fitzsimmons in the blink of an eye in a race to five to lift the trophy. It really is the semi-final on repeat. Simon's first two touches of the table result in clearances and frame wins. Jordan has to wait for another opportunity. Simon's just going to be looking for the same again. His last few breaks have been absolutely brilliant. More of the same would give him a 3-0 lead. Still a race to five in the final. Jordan will be thinking, not now. I've won five of these, beaten you in two finals. Don't be beating me when it matters most. Yeah, he will not want to give up his crown. Oh, a huge break, but only the white down. So, Shep, here's your chance. And he jumped out of his chair the minute he saw that white going in off. Unlucky for Simon. Another very big break. He's really hitting that pack hard. Really got a lot of power going into his break. I think he's pumped up out there. These are all there for Jordan Shepard to get his final underway. Has to hold himself together, work his way around the table, but they are there. Just a fraction short of pace, would love to have been straight in on the middle of those three yellows to the bottom right-hand corner. He's slightly hampered queuing as well, which makes this even trickier. Oh, lovely control, love the cannon. Approaching midnight on a Saturday night in Aberdeen. None of the crowd going anywhere. Want to see who lifts the trophy? Anyone's guess. He could chalk off the deficit so quickly, Jordan Shepherd. And he's halved his arrears in the blink of an eye. Shepherd one, Fitzsimmons two. Five, the magic number to win the grand final. Blink of an eye, isn't it? That was very quick fire stuff from Jordan Shepherd. When you consider the position that Jordan Shepherd's been in a couple of his matches throughout this knockout stage is hard to believe he's in the final and he's still fighting away with an opportunity to win this trophy. He felt he was beaten against Martin McIntosh. Callum Singleton got himself in front as well. Yellow into right centre, Black almost followed it over. He won't be taking yellows. Well, the problem if he goes reds which he's almost forced to do. He may have a yellow onto the corner. Is the red to the bottom left. That's a really bad red to solve. Didn't want to land straight either on this red to the top of the table. I think we just have an issue with the shot clock. Yeah, well, luckily, the way these two play, it's not actually that much of a factor. <laughs> no, especially in the first 15 minutes, the 30 second of shot clock, neither player is even getting close to their beeps. Well, you're right, there is a technical issue. 
Shot clock has disappeared there in the middle. So Jordan's going to have to try and play this red off the red and yellow together. This is really tricky. And so it proved. There are times when that shot is pretty simple. That The way they were lined up, that wasn't simple. Very missable. Shot clock is back up and running. Didn't take long. <coughs> Simon's eyeing up something into the centre pocket, but this looks very tight to me. He's having to swerve it as well. Oh, what a shot. Squeezes it in off the yellow. Looking good for 3-1, the bouncer. Well, Jordan's had to dig deep all weekend. He's going to have to do so in the final. Fitzsimmons is feeling it. Shepard shaking, perhaps. 3-1 in a race to five. It's advantage, the bouncer. For the Gary Forbes trophy here in Aberdeen. Jordan's been in this situation before in a final. Found, him, found himself behind to Liam Dunster in what turned out to be an absolute epic match in Doncaster. He fought his way back, nearly won it at the buzzer. He did get over the line in a black ball shootout. Simon looking to break off in frame five, hoping to keep the white on the table, but get the same split he's been getting. Yeah, there won't be any panic yet from Jordan Shepard, but it's approaching now on ever time. Great break. Oh no, how unlucky. That's worse than the last one, and the last one was bad. That is incredibly unlucky. Two consecutive breaks from Simon Fitzsimmons that he's hit absolutely perfectly and been kicked in off. Open table means he can play yellow onto red and take reds, which is what he's done. Has to give some consideration to his last ball. The black being the hardest ball to get onto. Needs to make sure he leaves a nice angle on his last thread just to be able to get perfectly on the black. And he has done so. Short shrift to this frame from Jordan Shepard. As soon as the lead became 3-1, it's been reduced back to...
almost hating having to wait for the referee. Well, he's made a ball. There is a cluster in the middle of the table. He's not getting as big a split as Simon, going for a completely different break, going for the cut break. And he misses his first opportunity in the frame. Jordan's made a ball off of each of his breaks in this final, but he hasn't left a good layout. Any of his chances. The safety shot from Simon. Well, a similar story from Jordan Shepherd, but he's got that one wrong. He was looking to get that yellow across and cover the pocket. There's a cue ball in the pockets. The answer. Big error from Simon Fitzsimmons. A free shot for John Shepherd. Open up this table. He's going to try and open up the cluster. It's not gone well for John Shepherd. The yellows coming together on the right hand side. Yellow a problem at the top of the table. And he misses his next pot. A poor visit to the table for Jordan. Excellent from Simon. And these reds are open. The red to the top right. It goes. The black may even go as well, once that's out the way. Yeah, rolled that in so fluently. 11 minutes on the match clock. Five the target for victory. And it goes. Not the easiest positional shot here for Simon. Got to thread the needle of those yellows. Oh, he was straight enough. He could just come straight back. Oh, oh that's good. Right amongst them. He's got so close to this ready. He's going to need the rest. And that's why the referee has called time off. Shot clock off. Match continues. Well, it's the first time I've seen this all season. Rest being used. Needs a nudge. This is delicate. These centre pockets all weekend have been very severe. The most delicate of blacks for 4 2. No! How big a moment could that prove? Well, it's a let off for Jordan Shepherd. It was a bad mistake at his last visit to the table. He comes to the table this time with a good opportunity. He does need to develop the two yellows that are together on the cushion. Oh, he's left a lovely angle to do so. Great shot. Wonderful shot from Jordan Shepherd. One shot the difference between a 4-2 Fitzsimmons lead and this. 3-3. Three, three. Two in a row from Jordan Shepard. He knows how to dig deep all right.
to race to two frames for the title. It's a big let off from Simon Fitzsimmons. That was a really difficult black. I fancy them to pot it. And we've seen it all weekend, those centre pockets. The way they're cut on the blackball tables. Just very severe, which is how you want it. At the top level ball. You want it to be a challenge for the players. Corners play a little bit more generous. Simon's break going to be like this time it's always huge it's just a case can he make a ball and can I keep a white on the table seven minutes 40 seconds first to two frames what a break that is not much stayed on oh, and this time the white does stay on the table which is all important makes a couple of balls would love to go reds those yellows on the right hand side are awkward he, he doesn't have a red to go at so he's forced into going yellows he's only got one ball to go at and it's this one on the plus side it's a it's a shorter numerical route having potted a couple of yellows off the break only three left after this one. Oh dear Starting to get into trouble in this visit. Yeah, just opted to try and take the pocket in the end. And that's not bad. Certainly blocked off one red. Still the one red on the left-hand side for Jordan, which Jordan's just going to nudge open off this shot. It was risky, and I think he has left the yellow to the bottom right. Yes, he has, as you can see. Well, Simon went for the cannon. I think he's got the yellow up the rail. Can he get on the final yellow? Well, he's just pushing it in and leaving the cut. Now then. I don't think this is the full pocket either. He's had a couple of very close looks at this yellow no it's not oh that's a brilliant shot that's the only way that went he'll need to find another though he's already missed a delicate back into the middle in the previous frame now he's got another to go oh no he's missed another oh incredible all weekend long he was odds against making that the way the players have struggled with the centre pockets all weekend long and Shepard is like a predator out of his seat like a vulture feasting on the scraps mm. that's a loose one nudges the red safe or safer yeah that's changed the complexion he's just opted for the uh, for the safety said to Simon you move it then I think Jordan was also that was clever he was trying to get the red to go up and block the one cushion he's not quite managed it he didn't want Simon to be able to come off one cushion and just hit that really firm but he did leave the gap That's another snooker from Jordan this time. It's a good one. And this will all suit Jordan Shepard because he's a big favourite to take this frame. And with the clock ticking down, it's leaving Simon less time and less chance to respond. Now will he clear? It's still tricky. Asking the white ball to slow. Needs to land straight. Just about straight on the red to the top right. Drift in. Alongside the black. 
make a good pot down the rail. Thought about it. These two for match point, really. In it goes. He's got a skip in his step, Jordan Shepard. He was 3-1 down, don't forget. And he's 4-3, one frame away from adding town shootout title number six, and it's the big one, the grand final. Hard to believe the way this match and the way this knockout stage has gone. In fact, the whole tournament's gone for Jordan Shepard. He has stood there, breaking off one frame away from another title but actually he's about two or three minutes away from another title because Simon Fitzsimmons is running out of time well, here we go Jordan makes a ball he's all but champion but he hasn't is there a twist? Two minutes, 20. And they're all there. Simon actually doesn't have to rush these. These reds are just laid out lovely for him. Well, what chance? The grand final being decided on a sudden death black ball shootout. Well, I would say right now, very high. You might all want to add 20 minutes to that morning alarm. We're going to get time if Simon takes these out for one more break. We probably won't have time for the whole frame to be played, but we'll have time for the break. Oh, what a finish, what drama. Two shots away from 4-4. Four, four. One straight forward black away from 4-4. Four, 4-4 four. Four, four in the grand final with barely any time for one more. Well, he's had one sudden death shootout, Jordan Shepard already. He's going to have to brace himself now for another. He must have thought that he was home and hosed. Jordan Shepard wouldn't, have, wouldn't never do it, but he must have given some thought That's to the cup break. Oof. 40 seconds. I don't think so. Well, they're there. But the table is actually open for him. I don't think he's quite got enough time. He's going to be a 15 seconds short, I think. Yeah, and he can't afford to play any of these shots hard because he's got to wait for the white to stop. So it's not going to happen. We are going to have a sudden death black ball shootout for, to find the champion. Oh, hello. No, he's going to be one ball short, isn't he? Ten seconds. He couldn't, could he? He could. He could. He could. What a finish. Two seconds. He's there. Oh, my word. That's unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. Two seconds to go. It's a 43 second full table clearance for the bouncer. Simon Fitzsimmons has beaten Jordan Shepard. He has won the grand final in these most dramatic of circumstances. Wow. How has Simon Fitzsimmons found that finish? We were saying there was no chance with 15 seconds to go. He still had four balls to pot. It was unbelievable that Simon could make that finish. And you can't forget the finish he had before. That's two finishes on the trot in about two and a half minutes. Incredible stuff. Absolutely phenomenal. He's the champion and he will receive the Gary Forbes trophy after this short break. Well, a warm welcome back to the Lemon Tree in Aberdeen. Late, late, beyond midnight. But what drama, everyone who stayed has witnessed some of the most exciting town shootout pool that we have seen all season and it was the very last seconds of this grand final a huge applause to the runner-up jordan shepherd
Jordan's been brilliant all season. He's won five of the big ones, and I don't think he, even he can believe what's just happened. But the winner, the champion, who is about to receive the Gary Forbes Trophy, is the bouncer, Simon Fitzsimmons. And I'd like to introduce Gary Forbes' two daughters and son to hand over the special trophy. And a warm round of applause to Gary Forbes, a special man around these parts. It's been an emotional tournament for many, many people. And what a way. He would have loved that finish, would he not? And the trophy goes to the bouncer. If I could ask you to hand over the trophy. Your town shout grand final winner. It's the bouncer, Simon Fitzsimmons. Simon, I'll grab. There's plenty of people who want a photo with you, so I'll let them all do that in just a moment. But just before we go here live on Free Sports TV, just a quick moment. That's one of the most amazing things I've ever seen. We were saying during commentary, well, he's having a go, but he's only got 42 seconds. We're going sudden death, and then you pull that out. Absolute madness, weren't it? I mean, I thought he was going to beat me 4-3, and then in, in the end, we've played another two frames of 1-5-4. I can't believe it, honestly. I've no idea what's gone on in that last finish. <laughs> I'm just uh, uh, hearing people shouting, run, run, run. And, and I, I have no idea what's gone on. <laughs> it's absolute madness. Madness. Well, you saved the best to last. You've lost to this fella twice. Third time lucky when it mattered most. Yeah, you could say I owed him one. Um, I didn't save the best to last, like you said. It's great to win this. So. Really well, it's been an absolute spectacle. I've enjoyed being here. I know the crowd has. Worthy champion, Simon Fitzsimmons. Loads of people want a trophy. A photo of the trophy with you, so I will say our goodbyes. Thanks to everyone who's turned up. Thanks to the Lemon Tree and all the staff involved here. Just a few of the thank yous. Our referees, Matt Clark and Donna Evans, who've been brilliant over the last couple of days. Couldn't have done it without them. To 247 TV, who's got the group going. Orange Media Group as well, who've made this event happen. A special thank you to me for this guy, Martin McIntosh. Not only brilliant on the table, but trust me, he has done so much hard work to get this on. He even booked my hotel room for me. And he made it all the way to the quarterfinals. I know he's disappointed with that. Some big sponsors have made this event happen to XLQ's English Blackpool Pool Federation, Rothstud, Rolston, I beg your pardon, Paderosa Metals, KD Marine, Legend Sports, Horton Homes, OUI Limited, all the staff here at the Lemon Tree Aberdeen. Tonight's winner was the bouncer, Simon Fitzsimmons. The real winner this season has been Paul from me, George Riley, everyone here, and the rest of the Orange Media Group team. Thanks for your company. Have a great night, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.